Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, August, and this is Lily August. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a previous watcher, welcome back. As always, I am sending you love and light, and I am back with another reaction for you guys today. Well, I guess it's actually a commentary because I've already watched what we're about to watch. If you already watched my episode one commentary to Until We Meet Again, well, this is episode two. If you haven't watched it, go check it out now. I will put it on the screen in a card somewhere, wherever it pops out at, I don't know. I know it's been a while since I posted, guys. I know I'm like, notorious for taking like long breaks, but that's because like life really hates me. It is like the universe is out to get me. It wants to kill me. It just got me feeling like Miley Cyrus, you know, just out to get your favorite bitch. But I am back. Hopefully this video will get posted today or t Sunday. My internet has been like so crazy. I, I can't upload because it tanks the entire Wi-Fi network. So that's why I've been gone. But hopefully that situation is resolved either this weekend or next weekend. I got new internet, so hopefully it's better. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Before we dive into this reaction, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, turn the notification bell on. Give this video a thumbs up and a share if you feel so inclined to do so. Yes, please thumbs this video up if you watch it, guys. Let that engagement go up so my video gets more views and it can reach a broader audience. Anyway, guys, let's dive right into this reaction. I will see you on the other side of the opening sequence. up and ready to go let's dive right in oh actually let me address something real quick long intro i'm sorry i know that i cut out the part where um palm sees dean for the very first time i know that part i cut out and that was not because i want to cut it out that's one of my favorite scenes in the series but i don't live alone i have quite a few roommates guys so there's a lot of noises and oftentimes the parts i cut out actually stem from like background noise and that's why i got cut out just full disclosure. Anyway, let's dive in. Oh, look at Kuhart. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I love to cook, and I agree. Homemade food just tastes different. Tastes different. It hits different. I wish I could say this is a sign of the times that they're growing up in where he feels abnormal, but it's a reality still today. That's so true, your life does belong to you. Your happiness is actually your responsibility.
Again, I'm gonna say I love their friendship, and for me, it is the highlight of the show. Especially in regards to Parm's character. Um, I think that uh, Manal and team, they really bring out a different side of Parm. And I love that. I really do. I think that with Dean, it's also another type of personality. So there's that juxtaposition. And then there's the, the Parm by himself, who's very just straight laced and, you know, I don't want to say uptight, but he's very shy and reserved. But with his friends, he's more jokey and more open. And with, with Dean, he's not as open, but he's more emotionally vulnerable. And I appreciate that. Please. He is the cutest. What I really love is that um, Palm is more than just in reincarnation, but he's like a manifestation of his hopes and dreams all come true. Like being able to cook for his loved one and being able to love his loved one openly and loudly and be able to do it with an accepting family and friends. I think that it really is like Palm is really the manifestation of ends like hopes and dreams. Like he's more than just his reincarnation. It's more than like unfinished business. I think that like that's like the beauty of Parm's character in like the sense of this whole like storyline. What I really do appreciate is, and I this is just conjecture, but how I interpret this is like, I don't think that Dean gets all the happy memories. I think that he gets all the memories of the way that in loved Corn, And I think that Palm gets all the memories of how, like, not the tragedy, but the consequences of that love. And I think that's, I don't know, I think it's kind of pretty, uh, pretty, ugh, that's such, I always say beautiful and pretty over it, isn't it? But I just think it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting way to tell that kind of the backstory. And it explains our trauma and explains why um, Dean is so guarded and Palm is so hurt and fragile.
But on top of all that, guys, that's because this is my favorite, all time favorite scene, honestly. I like that um, team and um, team and D are uh, probably can't see team and Pom are trying to whisper, but now it's like. Honestly, I wish we'd unpack this a little bit more in the series, but I, I get why we didn't. Muscle memory, at least the heart muscle memory. His heart has got the trauma. I think his heart's afraid to relive it when he meet again. Just the music. It's like the one time the music does not lend too well to the series, but we'll overlook it. I get it's supposed to invoke emotions of uh, 
uh, hopefulness and uh, joy, but it is made through Christmas. such a real moment. I have been there. Again, I'm going to read it, read this point again. I know people said that this whole meeting was a forced coincidence, but again, I'm going to reiterate my point that I think that it just lent itself to easy storytelling. Not easy in the sense that it's lazy, but just to prove or show that their interaction, their meeting is inevitable. Like no matter where they turn around each corner, they'll probably find each other there. It's not meant to be coincidental, more serendipitous than anything else. good actor and not even just because like he can cry on cue a lot of actors can cry on cue but the way he, the emotion bubbles underneath the surface for him he's so visibly shaken like it, he's having like an actual visceral reaction and I think that's what sets him apart from other actors who can cry on cue it, it, it's it's so subdued but substantial at the same time that it really resonates with this this higher plane of emotion, really. And it just, 
it proves that you don't have to be big with the motion. It can be very subdued, very substrate, uh, very, I can't speak English, but it can be very subdued and still be impactful. I mean, this is kind of creepy taking a picture of somebody, but like at the same time, I mean, they're really, really already like in a relationship, honestly, like. But in real life, don't take unsolicited pictures of people, please. It's weird. I like that, like, I'm gonna keep reiterating the same point. I don't think like he woke up right after he left out of coincidence. He woke up right after he left because I felt like subconsciously he felt his presence. Again, it's inevitable, not coincidental. I don't even think you can read his name there. I think he just knows. Like, you know, he just knows. The way them pants so tight though, like, I thought the pants I wear are tight, but the pants they put him in are the tightest and we appreciate it, like, the wardrobe, you're the MVP. Here comes the queen. I know that Sammy's been in a lot of like roles and a lot of um, series, but I really personally feel like this series, like this Manal, is a character that really, really made her shine and set her apart as a comedic actress. Cause I know she was very comedic in Tell uh, Love by Chance, but here it is just, it shines so much better. And, and it just, I don't know, I think that there was no one else who could play Manal. Like, literally no one else. <laughs> I 
I really just appreciate how fleshed out their friendship is. I like I other series the friendships seem kind of hollow a lot of times. Like the friend groups seem like a bunch of characters placed in the same room. But with them they feel like a genuine group of friends. Like it feels so real, so relatable too. But again, I'm probably biased because it's my favorite series. Love a good classic spit take. <laughs> that will never disappear from like cinema. As if he didn't know who made it. I'm not sure if it was intentional or just, you know, I don't know, but the way that they had him sign the sticky note, one in English, two in bold lettering, to really draw your eye to it, to point out that he signed his name as if to say, I'm aware that you didn't sign your name, but I know it's you. Where his wail is so heart wrenching.
stop that. I no, I don't know. I always say this, but my favorite scene. <laughs> Every scene's my favorite scene. Who am I kidding? I love this show. It's my favorite show of all time. But um, let's talk about that last moment for a second before I talk about my overall thoughts or you know reiteration of my thoughts. Um, I love. What I really, really love about that scene is how it was kind of um, this overlay of in in this heart wrenching emotional turmoil. He's wailing. You can hear the vocal crack and frying of his voice, and he's crying and begging, you know. And then you have Parm, who is who's more subdued in the emotion. He's just kind of the silent, silent tears of you know not understanding where this emotion's coming from. And I really, really like that because it does show like how deep the emotions are for him, but it also shows that he's he's kind of reluctant to really delve into the basis of those emotions because he's holding himself back. Those silent tears that sitting in the car, just kind of like contemplating like, what are these emotions? What's going on? And why do I feel this way? I love that. I think that the show is just phenomenal. I know a lot of people, I was shook when I found out a lot of people didn't, didn't like this show. I'm like, okay, first and foremost, you have no taste whatsoever. But I also realized that I think until I made it again, it, it, it has a different kind of audience than other BL. I, I know a lot of people are in it for the smut and for the, the uh, NC scenes and all of that stuff, but I'm not. I, I really, really appreciate emotional depth. I appreciate something that's really gonna make me cry and just break me and have an ending that makes it all worth it in the end. And I know it's not for everybody, but you know, not it's not like I'm on a high horse or anything. But also I just I really, again, what I love about this show is the juxtaposition between the past and the present. Uh, I said in my last video, I know people were kind of upset because there wasn't a real like definitive line of like the, the time period. But like I said, I think that it was really in the lighting work and the color palette chosen for the past and for the present. But also, as weird or funny as it is, Manau is a real important kind of character to that juxtaposition because obviously she's the comic relief of the show. Her and team are the comic relief of that show. But I think that they've also, the director also kind of built out the entire sequences of their friendship to be the comic relief and it's made a world of its own within that world and i think that without manal's character that would have been impossible because she rounds everything out really well like she's a real rounded character in general and i think that if you really want to find a way to differentiate between the past and the present hold on to the moments of the friendship because those are the moments that are really really important to telling the story i know for a lot of people they're in it for the romance and obviously for the main couple but i think that the creator director and everybody did a really really smart job by really really fleshing out that friendship and making it a centerpiece to the entire story it doesn't the story doesn't revolve around their friendship obviously but it kind of sits in the center and it kind of pulls you back in whenever you're at the, the edge of emotional breakdown, wherever you're at the edge of solving the mystery, the friendship kind of pulls you back in and grounds you and reminds you that it's just a story and we're going to get through it. And I love that smart storytelling. Obviously, like I said, it's the um, comic relief, but in a different way than like, traditional comic relief, which is one character being the comic relief. That makes sense. I'm kind of rambling. Honestly, because I have no idea what I'm talking about. I, I just my interpretations of what's happening. I'm not a movie critic, I'm not a show critic. I don't I don't have any kind of basis for my understanding. I just watch the show a lot. <laughs> that's my problem. <laughs> and that's why we're here again watching it again. I swear. I also want to hear your guys' takes on like everything that happens down below in the comments. Sound off. Let me know how you guys feel about certain scenes and your favorite scene and just where this show takes you emotionally. I want to know. I really genuinely do i feel like i'm so finally i'm finally so blessed to be able to have a platform to talk about this show because like i said i watched it before my channel and i wish i had at that time had a place to really really talk about it in the moment unfortunately that's passed and we're here now anyway guys 
until we meet again <laughs> that was so cheesy yo <laughs> until my next video i hope you have a great day and stay safe bye bye i will see you back here for episode three